<laughs> good day, good day! How the honk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano, and have I got something for you today? Yes, well, we are continuing our uh, series. Yes, I, I'm still trying to put it together a playlist for all the Land Rovers from one manufacturer. There, I just said it. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, uh, we did Hot Wheels, we did Matchbox. Uh, this is kind of 164 scale right away. That's that's kind of what we're doing right away. It's just the 164 scale, all right? Um, so... Um, <laughs> you know, I, I like Corgi. I, I really think that they produce a good model. I wish I had a reference, uh, for them because they have got some stuff. Now I preface this with, I need your guys' help. If I'm missing something, let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, give me a big thumbs up. All right. Um, uh, th it's hard to get, uh, information there. There isn't one, uh, section or one place to go, like BAMCA uh, for a Matchbox. So anyway, let's just get into it. This is, uh, this was a series, this is a video of all the Land Rover models by Corgi, 164 scale. <laughs> all right, and I try to get them in order um, a little bit. All right, I think, I think one of the oldest models, I, I think, think is uh this one here <laughs> i don't no that's a whiz wheels that was later on wasn't it here i think this is an older one right here this one here this is the uh corgi's police uh the range rover police now i have 82 to 86 on these i'm not really sure um yeah i'm not really sure i i don't know for sure <laughs> I know that they, that they did this one. This is a later model. This one might be um, uh, back from the 70s. This comes from the 70s. Now they carried it over into the Whiz Wheels, which was, uh, you know, the 69, uh, which was later on. Uh, this might just be the older the older one, but just with the Whiz Wheels is newer, newer um, styled. And, and they re, kind of repackaged themselves, Corgi Jr.'s Whiz Wheels. Um, so this is in the seventies, but also this one went all the way up to, uh, 83, this, uh, whiz wheels models here, but, uh, most of them are in the seventies. <clears throat> this one here, excuse me, this one here, the Corgi juniors, uh, this military one, uh, they say that from the 69 to 71, uh, number 16, uh, these here, they really didn't, uh, the larger scale, the 143rd scales that we'll look at later, uh, they numbered those very much more. <laughs> Is that proper English? Very much more. They were more um, consistent in their catalogization, and you're looking up uh, the bigger models, you know, <clears throat> but not these. Um, so anyway, so this is uh, once again the 70s or whatnot. And then, and then these two, you know, they really don't uh, say too much about these, but I believe these are in the 70s. This is the earlier, earlier models. And some of them had baskets on them, some of them didn't. Now these are more rare, I think, uh, because maybe because they're older, but uh, because this one here was, was more, more popular. You can find more of these, mainly in white. Um, in the mid, late mid to late seventies, early eighties, uh, these really were popular there. So, um, yeah, the next one that is kind of really neat that they, you know, is pretty limited, uh, number is this one here. Um, this is kind of a James Bond, uh, vehicle. Uh, but also this is the Met toy, but 1983 is when this one came out. So, you know, they're, you know, yeah, <laughs> we're already 83s. So, uh, yeah, this is the only one I have of this. These are really kind of hard to find in the States, uh, but it's from the James Bond movie. I think, uh, 
Octopussy, I think it was. Uh, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, there you go. Um, but it's it's virtually it's virtually this one here, you know. But they chopped the top off, and uh, you know, because you can see by the back, you know, it's it's virtually the same, you know. But anyway, there you go, there you go, yeah. Um, then later on, um, they, when they still and I just I just busted this off, um, I, it was attached, but now it's not attached. Uh, this corgi here, this is uh, a corgi as well. I almost forgot that I, I didn't have it, but Corgi Toys, I don't know if this was a re, redo, um, where they re, restarted up the toy company, um, cause this one is, uh, what is, what are they, 2012, uh, yeah, Hornby, okay, come on, focus here, Hornby, um, Hobbies Limited, I think they kind of started up the, the, uh, the Corgi name brand again, Corgi Toys, you know, so I got one of those. Yeah, that's that's kind of something else. And I, I bought it in the package, like I say, it was it was all together, and then when I was doing this, I, I bumped it, and so it's a clamshell like that, and then they just glue it on the front of this thing, and uh, I just bumped it and popped it completely off now. So anyway, so that was kind of the newest, newest one. Well, one of the other ones I skipped over kind of by mid 80s, this one here, 1985, um, this is a very popular one that a lot of people uh, collect, and, and this is maybe the second mo most popular i don't know i i don't know i got a ton of these uh i get a ton of these uh i kind of get a ton of these these are i mean these are kind of hard to get a hold of but this is the last uh corgi in great britain before um mattel uh bought them out uh hot wheels and then and then it, and then they turned it into a hot wheels you know so um and I don't, I don't have one of them sitting around, do I? No, the yellow, the Mark II, they call it. But anyway, so that was in the 80s too. So there we go. This is kind of just a recap of, um, you know, the Corgi models that, uh, they, that they put out, you know. Uh, very cool. I really like this one here. I wish I had more of these. I think this is the only two that I have of these. Uh, these, I think, are older because they're not even the whiz wheels ones but you know i really could use some help guys uh, in the comments down below or you know when you come come over to facebook uh that's over there i i don't know i always point over here to facebook uh when i post that on facebook or or instagram post me uh some of your pictures but um it seems like these these here you know the whiz wheels and and stuff like that are a little bit different wheels and stuff like that but it's it's really hard to track it's really hard to track the, you know, you know, by wheels and stuff like that. I, I just, I, I wish I kind of really would ha be able to hammer this down. Uh, what actually, um, the, the progression of these, uh, toys, you know, but anyway, that's it. So, uh, next video, we're going to be doing, uh, the one, um, 43rd scale, the bigger one which, and, and other ones, and uh, Matchbox as well, uh, they did a 43rd king, what is it, king size, we'll be doing some of those, but, uh, you know, if you could, you guys, uh, uh, on Facebook, go ahead and um, show me some of your pictures, I know uh, a lot of you guys uh, do show some pictures, but, uh, yeah, I could use a lot more, a lot more pictures, there's the E184 Rover, and like I say, that was uh, from the movie, but they don't, they don't, uh, I wonder if the one-year warranty is, is up on that. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. Anyway, <laughs> all right, there you go. Thanks very much for joining me. I hope you guys are uh, really enjoying this. Uh, make sure you hit the, subs the subscribe, yeah, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. There it is, a big thumbs up. And uh, tell me what you think. Uh, I got more um, of these videos coming out. If you have a certain uh, uh, brand of toys that you'd like to see what rowers they've got, uh, let me know. I don't have everything in the, under the sun, but I'm working on it. 
But uh, yeah, I'd like to uh, live and learn, that's for sure. All right, this is your friend Dano saying adios. Thank you for joining me today. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover Day.